Hey everyone, just want to do a quick um, just rundown of Developer Preview 4. Um, I've had this running now, I think about a week. Um, it's been working great. I just want to show you a couple things that they may have changed. I mean, when you pull down now, um, obviously you get that's always been like that. Uh, in the airplane mode and the do not disturb mode are not on. It just looks at like it's on in the video. Uh, obviously everything's done by the button again. They definitely refine this a lot better. Uh, and I will show you in settings. They change settings. Yeah, so this is how it is now. And from developer preview 2 to developer preview 4, they did away with the custom vibration. In the sound and notification, there was an option to have custom notifications, uh, custom vibrations. It's not there anymore. So everything is swipe, swipe, swipe. Um, obviously, if you swipe, you get the new watch face. I have it set up with complications as watch battery, weather, date and time. And then up here, um, I was going to try to show you what it is, but it's Zoopaware. I can show you right here, data. It's Zoopaware notification. Oh, look, there's a notification from Pushbullet. So that gives me a notification across the top with, like, on Hangouts, it will show the Hangout icon and it will say, a, you know, a few words. The only thing that doesn't work is Pushbullet, and the developer John is working on it. And here's another issue I found you see how it's cut at the top and the bottom? When you open it, it's fine. But when you don't open it, let's go back. See how it's cut on the top and the bottom? That just may be something that Google's working on. Um, it may just be not 100%. I mean, they just announced February 9th it's going to be released. So are we going to have a DP5 next week? Are we going to have it a week before the 9th? Uh, another thing a lot of people have been asking is if I have DP4 installed, how do I get f the final build? Will it get, you know, will they provide the file so we can just manually install it? Do we have to go back to Android Wear, the original, and then wait for the over the air? Um, the new watches are going to be out. What's going to, what, what type of watches are those? I was reading on Android Police that it's actually the leaked watches that everyone has been, um, that was talked about months and months ago. It actually is those. So we'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm dying to get one because I hate the design of this because if you go with the Frontier, look, you can tr change the bands. They built the LTE in the back of it. Come on. I don't get why LG couldn't have done that. So... That's my quick rundown on Developer Preview 4. Obviously, there's a lot more things that are involved with it. I'm not going to get into. Someone just wanted a quick video on what it, you know, what it looked like. Um, and it's great. Battery life is great. Um, I mean, I'm getting, I'm probably seeing like 2.5% an hour drain on this watch. And that's with that. Um, it definitely gets me, if I check the battery stats, it gets me from, you know, Let's just say 7 a.m. And, and it will give me to, you know, all the way the next morning, you know, 7, 8 a.m. So it's given me, you know, a good, you could go a good 24 hours. I mean, I don't know who's doing that. Um, I charge mine, you know, 14, 15, 16 hours later and it's still got plenty of juice on it. So anyways, that's just a quick look um, at DP4. Um, so let's see where everything goes. Thanks, guys.